Welcome to St. Martin. We haven't been here in forever and it is one of our favorite ports and we are so glad to be back. Here it is the Dutch side. It's one of the smallest islands in the Caribbean to actually be hosted to two countries. There's the Dutch side and then there's the French side. We're gonna show you around the Dutch side today and maybe get over to the French side and show you what to do in St. Martin. All right, so here's something you definitely don't see every day. Goat. Billy goats, mountain goats. On the side of the mountain, man. I mean, let me see if I can zoom in. Like that one right see? there. Hold on, let me see if I can get him. See, babe, he's moving. Where? The one right there. He's stretching now, but he was just walking across. Like, how do they just, like, just not fall off the side of that thing? Man? Because they're strong and they are just determined. They're very it's smart little creatures. A Capricorn thing. It's huh? a Capricorn thing. Loud. So it's a beautifully hot day here. Gorgeous. In Phillipsburg, St. Martin. It's been a couple of years since we've been here and we're getting a quick little brisk walk on the boardwalk. Man, it's so hot I had to take my shirt off, y'all. So please, if you see something that don't look right, don't talk about me too bad. But on the boardwalk, <laughs> on the boardwalk, you're gonna be able to find a whole lot of different things like uh, different restaurants. They're actually grilling at some of these restaurants right there on the boardwalk. Great food, great drinks. And if you want to just chill on the beach, uh, quite a few of them, of them yeah. have a lot of great little specials where they'll give you a uh, beach chair and a umbrella for two. And also they'll give you like five beers or if you don't want to drink five beers, they'll give you like two rum punches. Also uh, a couple of beers, normally for around about $25 or so, maybe 23 if you get a good deal. So there's always that because trust me, walking on the boardwalk, there is absolutely no shade. It's a boardwalk. And there's nowhere to sit <laughs> on the side. So you're gonna wanna take a dip in the ocean. You're gonna wanna get one of those uh, chairs and <laughs> you're gonna wanna get a couple of beers. Guarantee you that. So we're just gonna walk around the city, uh, show you a little bit of what's here at the port. Didn't have anything planned too much for today. Ah, yeah. but it's, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Beautiful hot, hot day. My phone overheated. Oh my god. <laughs> so something has just happened. Has happened in the last 15 and 20 minutes. <laughs> we were getting ready to walk around downtown, downtown uh, Phillipsburg and just kind of show you what's going on. And then we ran across a guy. He was talking about the camera as we were getting ready to film. And then he had these scratch offs. Scratch offs. Um, so we were like, okay, we'll see what's going on. And then he scratched off one and was like, okay, we'll get a free, free t-shirt. St. Martin t-shirt. And then he scratched off the other one and we got three Seven. of the same number, which so means we now something. we want a huge prize. We'll tell you what it is once we get our hands on it, but we're here at the- Bel Air Beach Club. Bel Air Beach Club. Or Beach Hotel. The Don Beach Club. It's uh, a brand, well, not brand new, but it's been it's re the re done since Hurricane Irma three, four years ago. And we get to spend a couple of hours here before we get back on the ship. But they said it's a free day for us, so hey. Drinks, food, and the beach. We'll show you a little bit of what's going what? on and then we'll see oh what God. we want. I'm so sorry to interrupt your video, but in full transparency, we got to tell you what happened at this point. Addie, you, you want to tell them? At this point, we had to sit through a two hour presentation and tour in order to get our free trip. We got got, unbeknownst to us, 
And as we sat there seeing other people come in with the same results of this very hard to hard get to scratch get off, scratch off, it was a pitch for a timeshare. Time now, I'm not knocking the, the technique, the even though was real. the hustle was real. I'll give it to them. This mm-hmm. is probably the best the hustle. Smartest hustle. Um, <laughs> but shout out to the new owner of the facility. Actually, a good guy. Yes. Uh, we talked to him. We did win a free trip mm-hmm. and we got some insider knowledge on this particular thing. So just as a warning, don't believe everything when you take these trips in these ports, even as good as it believed. I mean, come on, a scratch off. How? I mean, that that was a good one. The t-shirts were nice, though. Yeah, at least we got a t-shirt. We got a trip. <laughs> and we had a free trip. And some free drinks. Oh, and the rum But we got drink. got. So let's get back to the video. You ready to go to dinner? Yeah. Let's take them to dinner. Let's go to dinner. All right. Tonight, we're having dinner at 150 Central Park. If you are all about farm-to-table foods and fresh cuisine, this is your place to eat at On the Symphony of the Seas. We are at 150 Central Park, and my chef's little heart is bursting right now. Yes, it is. I know it is. <laughs> so every single thing on this menu looks delicious, you guys. Um, we get to choose from an appetizer, an entree, and dessert. Yep. Um, and I'm wishing that I had bigger appetite to eat, like, three or four dinners tonight because everything looks delicious. I may do just that. I know for sure I'm going to have two, two of the appetizers. Two appetizers? Two of the appetizers. Well, maybe, maybe. Okay, because I'm leaning toward the seared honey glazed scallops for my appetizer really? because I haven't had scallops in a while. Okay, and okay. they sound delicious. Um, but the way she was describing the Berkshire pork belly... Oh, you know I got to go in for that. That's that's your definitely sure going in for that. Go winner. Um, but the entree, I, I'm loving the menu. If you are into design, the menu is very cool. Minimalist. Very minimal. Very bold print. Um, for the entree, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the lobster thermidor, which is strange for me because I'm not a big lobster. And see, that's exactly what I was thinking about doing. <laughs> But then the, 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 the roasted the, tenderloin the, for two cents. The tenderloin for two sounds really good, too. Yeah. So. Mm. Decisions. Or we could get both. And just pick out. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to go with two of the appetizers. I'm going to go with the braised short rib tonight, as well as the, the crispy Berkshire pork rib. What about you? Like I said, the scallops, the, the honey scallops. Okay. For sure. That's For sure. What gonna do. For sure gonna do it. Um, if, if I feel a little bougie, maybe the Caesar salad because they make it table side. Right. I had to do that in culinary school. It scared the crap out of me. And if you've ever been to had to have service where they do something table side, it's it's nerve wracking for the person. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. I had to do that in culinary school for my chefs and to remember the order of making a table side Caesar is not easy. Right. So. And for your main course? Oh, I didn't see the veal medallions. Now you do. You or the make that duck. Move. Now you do. You're going to make that move. Ooh, the duck duo sounds good. It's the breast and the leg served with pearl onions, poached pear, fava beans, and Brussels sprouts. So it looks like you've got eight different choices that you can make for an entree. <laughs> Pan seared halibut, the pan seared veal medallions, also the seared venison loin, the lamb wellington, the lobster thermidor, the duck duo. Sorry. The, I already know what you're going to wind up doing. <laughs> the clour, cauliflower steak and the roasted yes. tenderloin beef or two. Yes. I like how they have the cauliflower steak as your vegan or vegetarian option. So. And the desserts? Definitely got to try the, the fried, fried cheesecake. cheesecake. That's going to have to go down. But then again, depending on how I feel. You do. You're a chocolate person. I'm not a big chocolate person. No, I was actually looking at that. The, the hazelnut passion fruit bar. Mm. So, uh. We got some decisions to make, y'all. And we'll show you what we come up with <laughs> and how it goes down at 150 Central. 
So first appetizer has made it. Very quick service, by the way. Yes. Um, we also have bread service. I forgot what she said, but I heard truffle butter, so I'm, I'm on it. It looks good. <laughs> looks good. So we're going to dig in. I should be done. We'll tell you what we think. So give me. I ordered the scallops because why not? Honey seared or honey glazed seared scallops. And it's served with some type of corn mixture. And I see garbanzo beans and peppers. So. How is it? It's good to go. Mm-hmm. Now we got the pork char, uh, pork belly on a bed of mashed potatoes with a little gravy. And uh, it looks delicious. So good. <laughs> crispy. The skin is crispy, perfectly cooked. Mm-hmm. Smooth. The mashed potatoes really enhance the flavor. This is definitely a win. But I want to try some of this bread. All right, can you rip me a piece? It's one of those ones where you can, kind of like one of those little things back in the day when you used to be a kid. <laughs> and you used to open it up. But no. There's my friend. Thank you, darling. Mm. Oh, that is good. Mm. It's that is, got. That's mad good. Herbs and. So I taste a little bit of lemon, a little bit of garlic. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of black pepper, mm. and then the truffle butter on top. Boy, I'll be like Oprah. Just give me the. <sighs> so the pork bellies is good. I can imagine what those gray short ribs gonna taste like. Thank you. Okay, want to give it a try? Piece. Yes. Sorry. What do you think? Mm. Crispy. Goes out smooth. Crispy and tender. Not too fatty. Not too fatty. Some some pork belly can be a little bit fatty, and I don't really like that. Very flavorful. It's like the essence of pork. I like it. Pork belly is on pork. The pork belly is hit. That's the this is it. Pork belly is on They hit, yeah. Okay, so our second round of appetizers have made it, and it looks as good as the first. We should have got some more of that bread, though. <laughs> to ask for more bread. We need to ask for more of that bread. That bread was bust. The bread is so good. If I don't eat nothing else but the bread in here tonight. We, we, will, we will be happy. <laughs> oh, don't owe me nothing. <laughs> So, second round, you decided to go with the I asked Caesar for salad. the Caesar salad, and it looks perfect. Um, usually, when you get a Caesar salad on a ship, it's usually overdressed and dripping right. in Caesar dressing. But this one looks great. You got the braised short rib. This is the braised short rib. It looks just as good as the pork belly. It does. Look at the different colored carrots. The reduction, the sauce. And she said mascarpone uh, polenta. Oh, we about to dig in. It's about to be good. Mine so, is better than yours. I don't know. My scallops was better than your pork. That's going to be, <laughs> be so, better than your. What are these little things? It's a carrot. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. It's a purple carrot. I just want to taste your polenta. Ooh. It went. It cuts. That's so, a roasted garlic right there. It cuts so smoothly. Ooh. Ooh. You're gonna love that. The, the polenta tastes like the sauce? Um, it's basically grits. If you've never had polenta before, it's basically grits. And no sugar, you, Aaron. No sugar. No sugar. <laughs> this one's got mascarpone cheese in it, so definitely no sugar. Melt in your mouth. You just need more of that. Why haven't we eaten here like every day this week? Like every day this week. Um, this might be one of those spots if you get the dining package, you just might want to just... Just all three. All th- every night. <laughs> every night. <laughs> come back every night. Hands down. Come back just, every night. Just, this is this is the spot. Uh, I think this is one. Hold on, right. I'll let, let you get a little taste. Like this. Told you. Oh, wow. It is so smooth and... The sauce is delicious. It's so balanced. This is... 
If you love short rib, you're going to love this. The red wine reduction is delicious. Everything blends together so good. Everybody was saying how this was the best restaurant yeah. on board the Oasis class ships. I'm not sure if it's on the other ones, but 150 Central so far. And we're just at the appetizer, y'all. We didn't even get to the entree or the dessert. It has been a one. So far, it's, it's delicious. This is probably, and it's just a Caesar salad. <laughs> so we'll be right back. It's a Caesar salad, but it's delicious. We'll be delicious. right back. All right, so the entree has arrived. Um, Y'all, that Caesar salad was so good. <laughs> this is probably, I think this is going to be my first time ever having this. Okay, if you've never had lobster thermidor, what it is, is they basically take the lobster tail, split it in half, open it up. Okay, They I take that. the cognac sauce, cognac cream sauce, the tarragon. Not Henny. Not Henny. Remy. Not Remy. <laughs> Kind of come Just okay, come back to you. Go ahead, do your thing. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh my God. I got distracted. <laughs> cream sauce. Pour it over the lobster. Yeah, okay. And bake it. <laughs> what is this thing in the middle of it, though? What thing? That's, this? Yeah, what is that? It's a potato. That's what I said, a, a tower potato. <laughs> It's a, it's like a baked potato, a roasted potato, and sticking out of the potato <laughs> is lotus root. You've had lotus root before. But it's a lotus root. It's good. It's that. Is it good? <laughs> You've had it before. I have. What did I have you a lotus root in? On virgin in the poke bowl. There was a it lotus was root in it? You don't remember the pink thing that was sticking out of your so poke So lotus roots are multi no, they usually dye it pink. This one, it, oh. it's they. It tastes like a potato chip. That's why it's in the potato. And and then we got mushroom? assorted vegetables. We've got some broccolini. We've got okay. some asparagus. More of the colorful carrots. Um, that mushroom. Probably some mushrooms in there, and the herb on top is tarragon. Oops. So yes, he's never. I've had ah. lobster thermidor before, but he has not. So. And that's the cognac sauce. It's cognac cognac. <laughs> now, you took it too far. I took it too far. You took it too far. I took it too you far. Took it too How far. did I take it? You, you took it too far. We'll be back, y'all. We didn't taste. Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> Since we got the same thing. Yes. Oh, I guess I need to do the same You got to taste it, too. Okay. It should be really tender. It's almost cheesy. Chill. Okay. Because it's got Parmesan and cream sauce on it. It's different. I got it because... It's not bad. It's just different. It's... <clears throat> It's lighter than the steak option would have been, and the duck option. I should have gone with a duck. <laughs> I'm not saying that, no. I'm not saying that this is bad. I just, right. You know, I love duck. We both love duck. But I wanted to try something different, because that's the whole point. That's of the whole point of being on a cruise. Eating and trying something trying completely, things. completely different. I don't taste the yak, I mean the cognac. <laughs> See, you can say yak, but I can't say Maybe it's that white henny sauce. It could be the white henny. <laughs> I don't drink that. I don't we like don't the drink, taste we don't, drink, we don't drink the white henny. All right, so now we're going to go and knock this off so we can get to that fried cheesecake dessert. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking forward to. We're about to have a little bit of coffee as we wait for our dessert to come. And look at what's here. Fried cheesecake. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all, my pastry chef heart just went. This is so cute. The presentation of this. <laughs> All right, so dessert has made it, and we're going to have a little bit of coffee. Oh, man, crema looks it's good. Delicious coffee. Now, the fried cheesecake came out looking a little bit different than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was actually going to be. Like cheesecake. Slice of cheesecake. But it's like 
little donut balls. <laughs> With popcorn on them. With the popcorn? Is that cream or ice cream? It looks like cream, like, uh, like whipped like cream. Constructed, maybe. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Dig in. Let me know how you think. Yeah, that's whipped cream. Coffee is amazing. Okay, I shouldn't have squished it because all the cream came out. Cream came out. Grab a little whipped cream and a little piece of the popcorn. What do you think? Pastry chef, bib? Friggin' awesome. You're happy. I'm very happy. Pastry. It is literally a cheesecake. Pastry chef approved. With whipped cream. And the popcorn gives you texture. Let's see. Literal cheesecake and a donut. Bruh. 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 That's bust. Oh my gosh. Hey, it was so good. I know y'all probably think sometimes we be playing. We be exaggerating and nah, playing. We, nah, dude. You don't know when it's real and when it's not, but this right here? This right here? This right here? <laughs> it's delicious. It's, it's like a... I'm trying to think of what they used as the shell. Probably like a, a shoe pastry, kind of like a churro. Oh, it's so good. And they um, stuffed it with the cream cheese filling. Right, no cap. This is really it's good. <laughs> Not too sweet. Mm -mm. I want another one. Not too overpowering. The whipped cream just enhances the lightness of oh, the cream God. cheese filling. Good. It's fried, but it doesn't feel like it's um, it's not fried too heavy, so it's not oily or anything like that. And the popcorn, which is caramel popcorn, just sets it off. Man. It gives you that little extra little bit of texture. So, perfect dessert in With my book. Coffee? And then the coffee, this is probably the best coffee on the cruise. <laughs> like, it don't taste like the regular coffee everywhere else on the ship. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this is good. <laughs> More investigations needed. I have no words for how good this food was at 150 Central Park. It, by far, was delicious. They were right. Every aspect as the best restaurant on this cruise ship. Just beyond expectation. So if you get a chance to check it out, as soon as you can book it, go ahead and book, book 150. It. Don't doubt it. Don't question it. You won't be it. disappointed. Just do it. It was so good. So good. On to the next. On to the next.